Hello! I didn't think I'll get to record this video so early But guys, I finally accomplished the 802 starter dream First we're gonna get distracted with clearing out this and There was one boss challenge I haven't done Let me just quickly go through and finish up on some deities but I am excited to be showing you today the 802 heart dream might actually be happening so what's in hit 802 that took me so long actually it's not 802 it was 712 because I couldn't clear 712 without losing my main team and in order for me to clear 801 and it and start 802 without having to stress out I actually need to clear 712 without losing Gorevas and Vaccine Man so I wasn't willing to do it with like a thousand resets on crit or whatever today I actually cleared it with only two units down I only lost the uh, Golden Boy and I can't remember what the other unit is, but I remember it was not really important. And then for 801, I actually sacrificed Moomen and Beast King. So that leaves us with a lot of room for how to clear 802, because what 802 has is, uh, is a stage that is three mosquitoes in front and one non-healing unit at the back. So as usual, I'm going to clear out the non-healing unit with suit set first. And then after the suit set, I will try to clear the three mosquitoes one by one with Boros. Same as usual. Hopefully it works. Uh, and I'm still not sure if the mosquitoes are row hitters or single target. If it's single target, it's quite straightforward. It's just, just need to run Dr. Genus and basically last long enough that you can clear off two of them. And then it's lightning max. And then after that, we will probably, that will probably be our last institute video for a while just cause I'm uh, 802 will enable me to sweep to 801 yesterday every day and past that I'm not really sure if I want to continue doing it with a BP disadvantage cause as you might know 802's recommended BP for hard mode is actually 4 million BP whereas I'm sitting at around 1.6 mil to 1.7 mil for most of my institute lineups. Basically, I'm cheesing it with uh, mostly Gorivas, Vaccine Man, and Boros. So you can't cheese it forever, but uh, I'm doing my best. Yes. Okay, that's enough. I just wanted to get some vitality out of the way. As you can see, I have 180 out of 190 now. That's fair. So I'm going to go on and go to the institute you have all been waiting for. Yes, institute. <sighs> It's been a while since I've done an institute video, I hope you all weren't like, bored when I was away. I had to do filler content last night, but I guess that filler content is truly filler content now, since I'm going to be clearing this stage. First things first though, what we need to do is we need to go and check whether all of our characters are unequipped. So I need to make sure that these characters are wearing nothing but the uh, blank sets basically. Let's remember some of the stuff that we are doing. Okay, there's one suit set here that I need to remove. So first thing, we need to kill off the back unit with suits. Same as what we did last time. Uh, and how we accomplish that is we take the lousiest units and then we take the, put suits on them just like usual. So first I'm going to unequip all the suits that I've been putting on them. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, let's see if there's a better way to do this. Let's just open up the gear bag. Because maybe there's a faster way to just unequip some of the suits at the bottom or something. Yeah, never throw away your suit sets. You need every single suit set. Holy shit, this is risky. Oh, dark matter thief. I'm just trying to do this because I think it's a much faster way. Right, hold on, why why didn't why doesn't it show up anymore? Why is it so laggy? Right, either way Sky King, Doctor Genus and Speed of Sound Sonic are what I want to be using, so it's fine. 
Dr. Genus Moomen Rider right, replaced because it's wearing its dark matter teeth. So this will actually be unequip it from dark matter teeth. Okay, let's go ahead and look again. I have one on Mosquito Girl, one on Sky King. Why do I have? Okay, Moomen, Dr. Genus, Mosquito Girl. Sky King. Let's remove it from Mosquito Girl from now. Let's go to this. Okay. And last but not least, just gonna quickly check here. Remove. So laggy, honestly. Emulators are not good at loading data from APK because it's loading it in a different way. Your phone does it better. Your phone is smoother. Or maybe my com just sucks, who knows. And that didn't work out quite as I intended. Still have two suits here. You couldn't see it just now though. Why? Interesting. Well, it's unlikely that there's any other suits but I'm just removing them for the early part. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the easily identifiable heroes to and put them up for the part where we have to kill the backline. So this might take a while but you all just bear with it. Unfortunately, an institute video doesn't mean excitement, it mostly means sadness. But it pays off in the long run. I've been sweeping to 712 unchallenged for ages already. Oh, look at this piece of wait why am i equipping night gear oh, i'm retarded <laughs> all right guys remember i am retarded sometimes not always no oh, i feel like something was off i don't want to equip defense gear but it's fine i guess One suit set down. Two suit sets down. Look at how slow this can be. Three suit sets down. So now you need to pick a second category of units. So usually I go with uh, these three buggers. Again, it's just what you can identify with easily because after this you will be throwing bodies at the opponent. You won't really be doing anything other than that. So just pick six units. You need to be well aware of what they are. And I'll show you the formation for sev uh, 802. I mean, it's used for 802 and 801, but you get the idea. Okay, while we are here, I don't want to go back too many runs, so I'm going to memorize another maybe two more units or something so we can do car boy frog boy i think of one more after that this is why you don't break your suit sets guys so we need car boy frog boy Boom, so good so far. Oh, cowboy, frog boy, and crab boy sound like easy to remember. Let's do cowboy, frog boy, 
What about this guy? What's his skills again? Cowboy, frog boy. Ah, cowboy, frog boy. Uh, crab boy. Funeral suspenders and D pad, I guess. Hundred and zero eight. So this can take a while, but as you can see, uh, this is a way to. I mean, better to stress here than stress inside because the backline unit is going to cause trouble anyway. So this method actually saves you quite a bit of time, even though it looks like I'm wasting time. You need to be very patient when clearing institute. Actually, the number one reason why most people are still stuck on some of the old stages is because, uh, I won't say lazy, I'll just say uninspired, unmotivated. Uh, most people just want to clear their dailies and see progress. But I feel like there's more in a gacha game, you know? What's the point of doing a gacha if you're not going to go all out and try your best? So first, what you need to do, I have 4 heroes left, just nice, so you don't want to waste your hero lineup. What you want to do is, let's say, I remember that I have D-pad at Funeral Suspend. Was it D-pad? <laughs> it feels bad now, I don't remember. Okay, whatever. Okay, move these guys in front first. And then you need to start using units that you know you didn't put the suit set on. So I'm going to start throwing out random units here. This guy has a suit, so then you challenge. The backline unit will actually take damage. So you can't skip the stage because this is our first time doing it. You have to watch them die. <coughs> so you see that these three are healing, meaning that if you put suit sets here, it's not ideal. But this guy, he will deal damage to himself. You saw him hit himself for 417k. And that's good because as he slowly does that, he will eventually die. And then you only have the three mosquitoes to worry about. So again, I did a sky folk. So let's put the sky folk there. And then start putting in units you know were not part of the group. So again, confirm. And then you turn off their ultimates to save energy. And just watch. So those three will punch. And then this guy, look at his health. That's how much he dealt to himself alone without anything else from suits. Which I might have equipped too many, but it's fine. The more the merrier. Alright, so we continue. Again, we try our best. We use a suit. Uh, try and make sure you don't use any of your fire units, because fire units. They have a purpose, that's all I can say. You can see I'm already running out of units very very quickly so we need to make sure that this guy drops early. Yeah, I've, used, I've done this before with these guys, that's why they have no ultimates automatically on. Just boom, 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 look at that, 417k damage from one piece of suit gear. That's what you're looking for guys. Alright, so again, Skyfolk, uh, uh, Brief Armored Gorilla wasn't wearing anything, uh, this guy wasn't wearing anything, this guy wasn't wearing anything. Running out of units very slowly guys. Uh, I've used this tree before as well. Again, watch them just hit and do no damage whatsoever. Look at that 16, 16, 16. <laughs> Alright, did, did look at the amount of damage. Did you look at those numbers. Look at that. Okay. So now, he's still not dead, but we're getting there. Again, the key is if he dies, we can move on with our strategy. So I remember doing this guy. Running out of units slowly. Uh, still good, still good. So you can also use this strategy to get back energy in other stages. Not all the flaws, one of the flaws you can't do this strategy on. 
need to pray that he crits actually, that's the key. When he crits, he hits himself so hard. Ah, good enough. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Maybe one more would do. Hope I have enough units left. Have we done Kreblante yet? I think we have not done the Paradisers. Uh, using all my grapplers. You need to watch very carefully for what units you are using because not every unit you not every unit is useless. You need to keep all your burn units, you need to keep a few other things. So what's that? Which is good. Look at this amount of DPS I have to deal with later. Oh, he critted. Alright, he's more or less dead, so I'm gonna stop doing the strategy. I'm gonna bring in my main team now. So, what you wanna do? These three guys. You need this guy. This guy. Probably him. Okay, we can't use Alloy. We have to summon Genus clones. So I'm gonna put in... Oh no, doesn't fit. Can't you stun? Yeah, we'll make do with this guy. He will stall for one turn. So this allows us to use clones. And hopefully this is enough because we have injure plus shatter. Hopefully for two turns actually. You can see the guy behind, but he's gonna die from the corrode damage, hopefully. So we don't have to focus too much or care about him that much. All we need to do is focus down the targets accordingly. So you just do this. See that he's dead. Ninja. And then you punch. Boom. Look at this. Look at how easy this. Oh, I said easy, but actually I don't know yet. We'll find out soon enough. He's gonna heal up a lot, by the way. Oh, he took so much damage from suit. Wow. Wow. He actually took a lot of damage from suit. That's unexpected. Interesting. So I don't know what's their hit. Their how they hit. I have to watch closely. So if I look carefully, these guys have tail. So it might mean their roll damages, and that will change my strategy quite a bit, unfortunately. But we'll try our best. I'm gonna let the Korok kill off the middle guy and the reason why I'm letting my top one die is cause uh, in the event that it's actually a roll damager he will kill off uh, Goribas which is actually fine by me honestly I'll burn on the top unit oh good it's single target this guy's gonna heal up the fool though oh so not ideal uh, but uh, we'll see whether this works if we can hit slightly harder, we can finish him off and then the last one we clear with lightning max is fine. Nice, nice, nice. Doing good, doing good. <laughs> and this could be the shortest and most anticlimactic 802 video. Uh, we always thought that 802 would be so hard and then here we are doing it, cheesing it, slow and steady. gonna finish him off with the punch but next turn I don't have energy so I need to be careful I'm not sure if this will be enough I have two now I could use it to burn him is it a good idea uh, I think I'll just normal attack I save the energy so as you can see quite a straightforward fight this one you can kill with lightning max and any one of my other DPS units now so he will still have to clear this clone which is more or less fantastic I can't believe he didn't corrode there actually it's not important to corrode but yeah yeah we have more or less one that, that was it actually yeah he can heal up but it's fine even if he kills the rest of my units it's fine I need to corrode him but oh he's actually corroded it's just you can't see it because it's glitched yeah he's not gonna die here so if I had Sky King, it could have... Actually no lah, this is the ideal build already. So it's probably going to be able to kill my whole team actually. 
Because we don't deal enough damage And look at that, he just heals up the fool So let's just let him finish off our team And then go bring in the big guns, the lightning squad I mean uh, lightning max himself mm. Burn? But not enough I think <laughs> Look at that fucking damage output Jesus it's fine, it's fine. We just need the lightning max squad now. We've done it. 802 clear. <laughs> Imagine if they have resist or something. <laughs> I don't think lightning max is resistible though. I think it's a hundred percent kill rate, so I don't I don't think it matters. So yeah. Now we just have to use good old strategy. So what we want to do is shove in all the units that have some kind of uh, DOT Look for this guy Look for Sub King, where's Sub King? Okay, and then Since we are here, we might as well uh, uh, They won't take damage so we can put in our stronger units actually You know what, we are not going to take damage So we can do this and it's fine. In theory, we should put C instead of someone. Uh, let's put C instead of this guy. So we can use C core. Fantastic. The criteria is C has to hit first for this build to work, which is not that hard, thankfully. Honestly, with our mind, everything is so straightforward. But that's fine. So now we are returned, we just need to <laughs> bully the little dude. Let's watch him get stunned. What an anti climatic 802, guys. Always thought it was going to be some crazy 2 hour rush. Or even impossible, but uh, here we are, here we are, 802 complete on hard. We are never going back to floor 7 again. Fantastic. Look at this. And he's probably dead, I think. Oh, he's not dead, wow. Now he's probably dead, wow. The X. I should have screenshotted that. No, I can screenshot it in the video that I recorded. Excellent, guys, we did it. In zero two on hard down. Ah, the joy. It's beautiful. Oh, oh my god. It feels so good, dude. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's zero two. It's done. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh. Oh, sweet to hear every single day now. Every day. No worries. Come let's let's I mean even on normal it's hard. Let's just let's just go have a sneak peek. I don't care if I die. <laughs> Uh, I cannot tell you guys how- What the fuck? I am not even gonna try this. I mean, could do triple suit and kill them off so it will be the same. But why push harder, guys? Why bother? Why put so much effort in when you can just chill in the back? You know? <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. No point in extending it. I hope that everyone liked my institute content so far. Not really going to continue it. It's stressful. Uh, I just want to reap the rewards for the next two months or something and no one is going to catch up so soon so all right adios